guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this particular video is regarding a research and training program an online research and training program which is organized by csir triple im now csir triple im means indian institute of integrative medicine it's an institute uh, situated in jammu and uh, that's what is this video is going to be about i'll be talking about what are the things required what is the eligibility everything we are going to discuss in this video uh, before going into it i would like to thank aditi das uh, she has informed me about this post so thank you so much aditi for uh, informing it a big shout out to you uh, now let's talk about this particular research and training program in detail let's see what are the things required over here and how you can actually apply for that so without wasting any time let's continue with our video right so on the official website if you come down here you can see this there is a link for csir triple im research and training program r and tp 2021 so this is the like this is the notification which i'm actually talking about so if you just have to click over here uh, to reach out to that particular page i'll give you link to reach to this page directly okay you don't have to go from the official page but yeah you can come to this page of this uh, csir triple uh, im research and training program page directly if through the link given in the description now this is the short uh, notification or short advertisement you can say let's talk about the detailed advertisement so if i click over here you can see this is the detailed advertisement now the advertisement says that csir triple im jammu is offering two months online research and training program and uh, which offers training dissertation internship programs to the graduate and post post graduate students now understand that since it says for graduate and post graduate students that means if you are bsc qualified and if you are currently doing your msc then also you are eligible and if you have completed your msc or if you have done your masters if you have post graduated then also you are like uh, eligible for this so it is eligible for, like anyone who has done bsc or msc is eligible for this so even if you are like uh, in your masters then also you are eligible if you have completed your masters then also you are eligible for this all right so uh, students who would like to pursue their academic uh, project training under the above said titles uh, for two months as a part of their academic curriculum so it will be like a project you will be working in that particular project and that will be added in your academic curriculum that means you can add it and you can show that you have done project for two months under so and so uh, lab or under so and so professor now students are advised to visit csir triple im's website to get prior information on various r d aspects of institute interested student may apply online through csir triple im website that's what they are saying that you can apply through the website i'll tell you how to apply okay don't worry about that the deadline for the receiving of, of application through our website uh, for this purpose is 20th of july as i told you the 20th of july is the last date so make sure if you are interested you can apply before this date now note that no fee shall be charged by csir triple m for online rntp rntp means research and training program 2021 under scientific social responsibility due to covid 19 pandemic so it's totally free you don't have to pay anything for this particular thing all right so it's a free online research and training program now proposed theme or areas for uh, csir triple am research and training program so these are the topics or you can say these are the theme areas under which the research uh, or the training program can be done it starts from your natural product chemistry basically for your organic chemist medicinal chemistry also goes for them analytical chemistry goes for uh, basically those who are analytical chemist or those who are interested in instrumentations and all physical chemist can also go for this uh, quality control and quality assurance infection para, uh, pharmacology so that goes for biological students now fermentation technology microbial biotechnology inflammation uh, pharmacology uh, agronomy post harvest management and agro technology these are all for agricultural uh, like agriculture based uh, subjects which have studied okay uh, botany and plant biotechnology again for a life science student PKPD and toxicology that also is for your uh, life science students molecular biology this is also for uh, your life science students also for those chemistry students who are interested in biological work bioinformatics and chemi informatics again this is also for bioinformatics you all know it's a field of science where 
like bioinformatics is the field of science we all know about that right same goes for chemi informatics as well and information technology means it okay so these are the topics in which the research and training program is actually proposed so you can select any one of them uh, where you want to do this research and training program now the terms and conditions are given on the second page the uh, prospective researchers slash student who are interested in such a uh, program must have ensure and uh, get prior information about different r and d activities okay so that's what they are telling that you should get prior uh, in like information about it that when they are going to conduct it and what are the other things course training completion certificate shall be given only after submission of project report duly counter signed by the assigned mentor so the mentor who will be assigned to you once he will sign once he will be satisfied with your work then only you will be getting that completion certificate that they are telling you that they are discussing about the end okay when you have completed your project and then you are going to get that sub, uh, the completion certificate so the mentor will help you to get that student may please note that the request for the above said programs are subject to grant of permission and selection on the same program uh, once the selection is granted student may follow specified application procedure the institute is free to adopt its criteria based on academic credential and background of the candidate so that's what they are telling that the above mentioned topics which they have said uh, if you are applying it let's say there are less vacancy in that or they don't have that much of funding or they don't have that much of grant under that topic so they will not they will restrict the number of students in that particular field so uh, it depends that when you are applying for a particular topic of research interest they should have a grant for that okay and then only they are going to select you and they can change all these things or the criteria are uh, depending upon your academic credential and the background so they can uh, like select a particular person who has a better academic credential over you so these are just terms and conditions which they have okay now students seeking dissertation project work internship program online through csir triple im jammu have to submit a recommendation letter from their head of department okay so this is for those who are uh, like uh, who are planning to seek some dissertation or project work or internship online through this institute do you have to submit a uh, uh, like a uh, intern like you have to submit basically a recommendation letter from your head of department okay uh, so that you can be selected for this but that is not applicable over here so don't worry about it uh, the researcher student who are applying for this program shall necessarily check csir triple im website for update results selection in the csir triple im R R N T P 2021 so whether you are selected or not that everything they are going to post on the website so keep checking about that simple as it is the researcher student can give the option stream wise department wise as their in, uh, interest background of the for being considered for the selection in this csir triple im so that means that if you uh, if you belong to a particular uh, like stream let's say you belong to um, uh, you belong to medicinal chemistry student or you have done masters and you have done project in medicinal chemistry and you want to do in the medicinal chemistry then that will be you have to apply under medicinal chemistry right so that's what they say that basically you have to apply in the field or in the in the stream in which you have expertise or you have academic record okay so that will be beneficial for you that will be beneficial for them also to select you over there that's what it means uh, why they are always why they are telling researcher slash student that's because it might be possible that after msc you have joined somewhere phd and you are at your home during the pandemic situation you are not working in the lab but you want to do this project as a like just to make your academic profile good just to put it in your academic profile then also you are invited for this okay so you can apply for this so even if you are enrolled into phd at somewhere you can apply for this that's what it means okay so researcher student can give an option stream as okay that's what i said already uh, researcher student are advised for any patent copyright design uh, or um, registrations research paper from the investigation uh, research internship training program shall not be published or disclosed to any person institution in the result of the same can be published with the approval from the com uh, competent authority that means if you have worked something in this triple im uh, research and training program and let's say you have got something some result or some patent or some copyright you are not allowed to share it with some other institute okay unless and until you get a approval from the authority whom it belongs to so let's say you are working in a particular lab they, they you have produced something or you have made some uh, compound over there which is which is going to be published by triple im institute so you cannot publish it in your own institute that's what they mean okay so for any technical issues while submitting the application form 
candidate can contact to this email address webmaster at the rate uh, triple im dot ac dot in so that's where you can uh, like you can submit all your doubts or whatever doubts you have if you have any problem while filling the form all right now let's get back and let's see that how we can fill the form how we can apply so for that you have to get back to this page again uh, over here uh, from where we were seeing this detailed advertisement on the same page here on the downside you can see it's uh, online apply here so click on this and you will be taken to the page where you can apply online now once you will be a new student you will be asked to register over there okay so there are two options already registered and new registration so in case if you have not registered yet if you are a new student you have to register over here uh, once you click over here for registration you will be asked to put your name your mobile number your email address and password once you put make any password over here make a, a, at least six digit password with number and letters both combined and once you make the password just register over here now once you are registered you can simply like uh, log in using your email id and password okay so that's what you can do so i'll quickly show you that how it looks like after that all right once you are logged in there will be three sections over here personal detail educational qualification and experience so in personal detail first of all you have to choose that which theme or area you want to pursue your training dissertation or internship so you have to choose the field in which you can select only one okay whatever you feel like whatever suits the best to your interest just select that one uh, if you are uh, if you want to go for medicinal chemistry take it as that or if you want to go for analytical chemistry select that or natural product chemistry select that right so whatever suits your interest just select that particular thing after selection you will be asked to put your name uh, you have to upload your photograph and the other things are given over here that what should be the size and other things uh, your father or if you are a, if you are married then your husband's name your gender your date of birth then your address of communication then your mobile number email address nationality your marital status okay and then your 10th and 12th mark sheet combined in single document so you have to combine your 10th and 12th mark sheets in a single document and upload it it can be pdf png or jpeg any of the file and then your degree certificate now degree certificate here it says all degree combined as a single document so if you are msc plus bsc both pass out so msc plus bsc both mark sheets or both certificate you have to upload and if you are just let's say uh, you are just bsc qualified in that case just your bsc uh, certificate okay so that's what they are asking degree certificates so whatever degree certificates you have you just have to add all those degree certificates in a single document and upload it over here next is your id and address proof so here you have to upload any of your id uh, it may be any of your id like aadhar card pan card um, driving license anything over here now any other document which you have let's say if you have some experience you have some certificate so you can upload that as well you have to upload your signature and then you have to click on this as your uh, uh, like as the thing that you ha have declared as a declaration and then you have to save your personal info once you will be done with that uh, then you have to fill the educational qualification in that educational qualification you have to fill about all the educational uh, qualification starting from your 10th till whatever education you have attained till now and at the end you have to fill the experiences which they have asked and that's all you have to just finish you have to just upload it okay so i'll just quickly show you how you have to do the next part all right so once you are done with the personal information now you have to upload your educational qualification now remember that this has to be done in a chronological order and it's very important to understand that how to upload it okay so first you have to talk about or you have to give the information about your 10th so write down 10th over here then the school they are asking so you can write down the name of any school uh, whatever school you have i am just writing some uh, convent school something okay you have to give the complete name i'm just doing it roughly to show you subject you have to write down so write down all the subjects whatever subjects uh, basically you are having in your 10th class okay so you write down all the subjects and then the percentage of marks so let's write down something like 87 percent and then the year of passing okay so you can write down any year uh, which you have passed your class 10th in so any of the year you can fill over here so let's say 2011 okay so whatever year and then you have to add the qualification so successfully saved uh, if the qualification done kindly submit so that's what they are telling so uh, now this is your uh, qualification for 10th is done now you have to go for 12th okay so then you have to write down 12th and so on you have to add all the things over here for the 12th class fill it for the 12th then add your qualification so it will show just below 10th 
then again your go uh, it will go for your uh, like uh, your uh, graduation that means bsc and then it will go for post graduation okay so like that you have to fill and uh, this is going to go in a row wise like it will go in a chronological order and then once you are done with it you can just go to the experience panel okay then you don't have to go for the educational qualification and then here you have to fill that uh, uh, submit each experience in the chronological order whatever experience you have if you are a fresher leave this part blank okay so if you are fresher just leave this part blank and then you can just final submit over here that's it okay then uh, your form will be filled so i guess this is clear that how to fill the form okay everything you should know before filling just preview your application just see that whatever information you have given is it correct or not so i'm not going to submit i have just so, uh, shown you that how it has to be done all right i guess this is by far uh, much clear to you that how this has to be done so that's it for this video guys uh, i hope the things are much clear to you how to fill the form what are the eligibility criteria everything is quite clear to you remember the pandemic has hit our country and especially the complete world basically is affected by this pandemic and the most affected part are the people who are in their education right now or those who are studying right now so try to take out as much benefit as possible for yourself for your academic curriculum uh, you should have a lot of things uh, done during this it will also help you to learn new things also it will help you to uh, like to do something productive during this particular time right so that's all from my side for this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment sections below that's all from my side for this video if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribing it i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye